welcome back to student blog in this uh, series of Nutanix uh, training we'll be looking at uh, uh, like a issue fixing issue like uh, how to fix uh, high CPU utilization on uh, controller VM that is VM if you see that uh, CPU utilization is high on CVM then how we need to fix it uh, that we are going to look at it uh, in this today lab today's lab and uh, let's go to lab uh, before that, uh, okay, so let's look at this uh, uh, PowerPoint screen. So when you see like, uh, okay, so for example, if you are in a prism element and uh, if you if you see here, go to VMs and uh, you are able to see that uh, the CVM is, uh, utilization is uh, running on 90%, though we are able to see here 36%, but uh, in real scenario, if you are able to see 96%, or 90 percent and uh, in the in the alerts uh, you are able to see that uh, something like uh, uh, IO, uh, IO or CPU utilization on uh, CPM is high so you are able to see the alert in that case we need to fix it or else we will be in a problem so for that uh, so before that uh, anyhow you will be able to see it in the prism uh, element alerts so but uh, if you are connected to uh, the party session to CVM, uh, you can run this command and uh, you can also see the actual utilization here. So if I run this command, so it is like uh, 2 by 1256 is the value, which is quite normal. But if you see here, uh, if it is uh, this value, if uh, value is this, then it's fine. But here in the second screen, uh, if you see this value is very high uh, like 429496729 and by 161641 uh, which is very high so in this case we need to fix it uh, fix it <coughs> so for that uh, generally what we do is like uh, in general scenario we need to uh, we need to put the server in maintenance mode so the CPU utilization is high in this scenario so how to do it how to fix it uh, like uh, we are discussing we need to uh, like uh, we need to migrate all VMs to other ESXi, ESXi box on or AVH and uh, then we have to put the CVM in maintenance mode and reboot it then we have to enable uh, yeah, we have to remove back uh, like uh, uh, like uh, disable uh, maintenance mode all stuff really we need to do means uh, no no need to do that so uh, there is a script uh, inbuilt script provided by Nutanix uh, like uh, let's look at it so when you log into the CVM uh, uh, like uh, it's a there is an inbuilt uh, script uh, CVM underscore shutdown script so what happens is uh, uh, the CBM underscore shutdown script signals uh, HA when shutting down the CBM to forward the storage controller uh, traffic to another he healthy CBM. So uh, simply saying like what it will do is when you run this command uh, it will uh, it will forward the storage traffic to another CBM and uh, instead of doing a sudo shutdown or reboot uh, if you run this it will uh, route the traffic and it will uh, reboot the CVM and uh, it will put the CVM in maintenance mode and it will reboot it uh, if something wrong uh, uh, if he is unable to route the traffic then what happens is uh, uh, like uh, as a uh, like uh, uh, you are uh, like it will give an error saying that uh, unable to reboot the server so it, it, that's what it mentioned if Genesis fails to set up HR routes to another node in the cluster the script will not proceed with the shutdown if you still want to shut down the CVM you can use the force underscore reboot option so yeah this is pretty simple uh, so no need to uh, put the ESXi box or uh, ABH in maintenance mode uh, evacuate all uh, BMs uh, reboot e uh, the CVM no need to do all stuff simply running this uh, command will, uh, will uh, simply uh, uh, fix our things so we will 
go to our CVM and uh, let's try to do it uh, so this is our CVM we have only one CVM so obviously if you run the if you run the command uh, obviously cluster will go down so I will stop the cluster before that cluster stop and uh, once this is done we'll go for it so now it's stopping the cluster so in production scenario you are not supposed to do this uh, so mine is a single node a single node cluster I'm doing this but uh, yeah production no need to do this uh, you need to do it from uh, uh, like running the command cbm underscore shutdown uh, so we'll just wait so cluster is down now we can see the status so now it's down so now we'll run the command shutdown underscore cbm so the option uh, uh, we have is like uh, if you run this command like shutdown underscore uh, uh, cvm underscore shutdown space uh, minus r what happens is uh, uh, the cvm will uh, put the uh, put uh, like in be in maintenance mode and it will be rebooted so if it is hyphen h what happens is uh, it will power off the cvm so now like uh, you, you, you can look at the couple of uh, options uh, like where minus h capital h minus capital p power of after shutdown so a lot of options we have but uh, for now we'll be rebooting the cvm so that is uh, cvm underscore shutdown hyphen r for restart So if you see the logs, uh, it's attempting to uh, connect to Zookeeper, and uh, here uh, like uh, setting up storage traffic forwarding, so stopping all services before reboot. So this is in progress, and if you see here, uh, so lastly it says the system is going to down for. Uh, reboot okay so m our cluster is also down so we cannot see it there so but if we do a party session to our uh, abh box will belong with the root so here if you log in here and uh, if you want to look at the running VMs we need to run the command like uh, push I don't know why it is like that but uh, list dash all oh. so here if you see here uh, like uh, this is our CVM and it is in running state if it is turned off uh, what happens is uh, it will be in uh, or uh, like it, it the status will be showing as sh shutdown so still it is in running store so it's it's getting rebooted that's fine uh, so this we will try to restart the session once it is up obviously we'll be able to connect so we'll wait for a minute so it's just coming up now I'm able to see that it's pinging now so close this one So we are able to log in now. Uh, we'll run the cluster start command. 
first we'll see the status so as I said uh, this cluster start or cluster status uh, no need to check uh, no need to check when uh, when we uh, in production no need to check this is a single node cluster that is the reason I'm doing it so my cluster is up now everything looks fine let's run the command again to check the load so here if you see it is uh, 1 slash 1163 which is uh, looking good so you can compare the before and after uh, screenshots uh, uh, before reboot and after reboot uh, for screenshots and uh, if something if you see something like this after reboot also like uh, the status is very high CPU utilization then you have to reach out to Nutanix support you have to raise a case with Nutanix support and uh, they will fix it for you so that's all for this video so this is the uh, one of the um, uh, mostly happening or most most of the time happens in production environment so I thought of sharing this with you guys and also I will share the KB articles uh, in the description uh, you can refer the KB articles provided by Nutanix thank you guys thanks for watching bye bye